Hi, in today's tutorial we are going to take two similar images and we are going to look for the differences between these two images. So basically we are going to take a one image that is a basically a, a composed of a two images and we are going to look this for those uh, differences and we are going to mark them. So the process will be uh, divided to several steps. First we are going to look for contours, then we are going to do a subtract of one image to each other and then we will uh, point and mark these differences by rectangles. So let's start coding. So first of all, let's uh, meet our uh, image, our original image. You can see that this image contains two images inside it. So we need to extract uh, each of these uh, two images before starting the detection uh, process. So you can see, for example, uh, the differences. I mark some of the uh, differences that I can find with the, um, with the simple glimpse in the image. And let's start by creating a new and fresh uh, Python uh, program. Uh, let's call it the uh, Find 10 Differences. Of course, the original image and this Python code will be in my GitHub repository. And we will use uh, OpenCV as our main uh, Python library. So first of all, let's uh, read our image and let's uh, show it as a very basic and straightforward uh, process and we will of course uh, show the image and use the wait key uh, for a uh, posing in order to to see our image okay so this is our image let's continue to the next step okay the next step will be convert the image to grayscale we will use the cv2 color in order to, to convert it. Okay. And let's show this gray image just to see and double check that everything is okay. Nice, okay. Now the, the next step will be doing a threshold. A threshold of the grayscale we would like to display only the, the values between 230 and 255. Let's display the outcome. Please notice that we are using the argument of threshold invert since uh, we would like to focus on the white areas. Let's display it. Okay, so now we can see that we have uh, two areas inside our images. These two areas are white areas. So basically our purpose is to extract these two areas because we would like to look the differences between these two images. So in order to emphasize this and uh, look for contours, we are going to use the canny function that will emphasize the, the contours inside of each of these two images. So once again, let's uh, show the outcome. Now we will display this uh, canny, canny image. Okay, let's run it. So now you can see that we have a, like a contour, it's a pre-made pre contours for each of these uh, two images. So now we will use the find contours and we sh should be able to extract these uh, two images. We will use the external uh, argument inside our uh, can if, uh, find the contour function and it will help us only to find the, these two images inside our original image. Okay, now, uh, for now, let's uh, show 
the, the outcome of this uh, find contours function. We will use the row contours and we will uh, project or display these contours on our original image. Let's choose the color and the size. Okay, this should be good enough. And let's run it. So you can see this uh, a green a green mark or green rectangle around uh, each of the contours. So uh, now we are ready to extract these uh, two images. But in order to extract, first of all, we have to sort all the, the contours since we need the two biggest ones. Uh, since we have uh, two big areas inside our original image, we have to sort it from the biggest biggest area to the smallest area. So we'll use the sorted function and it will be uh, by the key of contour area. So now this array of sorted con should be uh, sorted from the biggest area to the smallest area. So basically we need to extract an area in the zero position and area in the one position. These two areas will be the, the two biggest area, finding area of, or contours area inside our image. So let's extract the coordinates and the coordinates will be of sorted con zero. This will be area number one. And let's draw a rectangle around uh, this or using these coordinates. And then we are going to extract uh, this area. We will call it uh, ROI, region of interest. So we have to extract from our original image from y to y plus h and from x to x plus w. And we will do a similar process to the next area. Let's call it area number two. And we also extract the coordinates from the second biggest um, contour. So it will be sorted con on position one and let's uh, do the same process and draw a rectangle uh, for these coordinates as well. Of course we will extract uh, the next uh, re region of interest and we will call it ROI2 and once again these are the coordinates in order to extract it from our original image and let's uh, show both ROI and ROI2 Now let's run it. So as you can see, we have two images. One is RY and one is RY2. These are the two images. They are similar. And as I mentioned, the result was to extract these two images from the original image. So now we have to double check if these both images are in the same size. So let's print the shape of both images. Let's run it. Let's see the log. As you can see, they are not identical. There is a differences in the uh, in the in the same in the height and in the width. They are not uh, identical. So we have to fix it, and we have to uh, delete. And one in one image the width and in the next images the height 
uh, in order to, to get two identical size images. And then we will be ready to look for the differences. So now uh, follow this uh, code uh, since we are going to do some adjustments in the width and the height in each of the images in order to get uh, an identical shape. As you can see in this uh, uh, image, we are going to take uh, take care of the height. We will do a minus one to to the height of one image in order to get the same height for these both images. And in the next process, we are going to do the same thing for the width. So after printing the shapes before and after each of the process, as we can see, both images has an identical shape. So now we would like to, to calculate the differences between these two images. So we, we will use the ABSD function and it will help us to find the differences between these two images. And we are going to subtract it uh, out of 255, which is the maximum value in a grayscale, and it will help us to focus on the differences between these uh, two images. Then we will use this image as a mask for finding uh, the true differences using HSV color. So please uh, follow uh, this uh, next code. It's uh, really important. Uh, we will do create a boundaries of a lower and upper upper HSV color. Then we are going to convert our uh, diff image uh, to HSV, and then we will do a masking in this process and using bitwise function it will emphasize the differences between these two images after i i display and project the outcome it will be more clear Let's show the, the result image. It will help us to understand what we have uh, done so far. Let's run it. Some of the images are not relevant, so let's show it. So you can see we have emphasized the differences. So these are the differences between these two images. Now it will be more, um, more clear or more helpful to um, find contours uh, in this uh, diff image. But in order to achieve that, uh, we need to blur uh, our uh, result image. Then we will use once again the, the canny function to look for contours or emphasize the, the contours and then we are going to use the delete function it, it will also help us to find a uh, contours in our result image
Okay, let's show the outcome. Okay, we have a, a syntax cell, let's fix it and run again. So this is the canny function, so you can see the differences are now well displayed. Let's show the, the edges using the delete function. Now it will help us with the find functions because it will be more focused. It will be the, the, the differences are more emphasized. So once again, let's use the find contour function in this result uh, image, result after, the, of course, the, the blurry, the, the canny and the delete function. And let's uh, show the results. Once again, we are using the external, only looking for the, the external contours. And we will loop inside uh, the, the contours variable. First, we will uh, detect and uh, grab the coordinates for each of the contours. And then um, we will uh, uh, put a rectang rectangle inside each of the finding contours. Uh, let's put a rectangle uh, in the result uh, function sorry in the result image and also in the ry and ry2 this uh, both extracted uh, original images and then we will be uh, able to see all the differences uh, in the combined image and in the two original image so please follow this step three uh, rectangle functions and it will help us to focus on the differences. Okay, we are ready to run. Basically, it's all done and now we will be able to see the differences in each of the images. This is the ROI number two and we have ROI number one. And that's it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You are most welcome to subscribe to my ne next videos. Bye bye.